specimens required. anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos One for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work. And preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this. To murder a species. And the research. Lost. It's... Anywhere is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth. Even if one of them hit Earthside. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Morgan, Sigway, what's the update on our station? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Well, here we are. Hopefully you'll never have to listen to this recording, but if you do, then something unfortunate's happened to me. I suspect you've seen enough by now to abandon the notion of destroying Talos One. I've always been the one who thought we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me that we could do anything we imagined. No matter how ridiculous. I hope you still believe that. If not, then I'm glad I died before seeing my sister succumb to pessimism. We have the data to confirm what you suspected. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message, and who is listening to it. I have a feeling you already know. I'm carrying a fabrication plan for the prototype no wave device you conceived. Make one. Then place it at the heart of the coral. We will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive uh, shock to every uh, Typhon organism at once. Uh, Good luck, Morgan. Uh, I just regret. I won't be at your side to see it happen.
Placing the null wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cytoscope to locate the exact spot. atmosphere conditions.
The dose of Morgan Cellite. Do it. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. 
Alex believes we can be the bigger shark, but what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? What the hell have you done? I've simply acted on Morgan's orders. Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. You made the right choice. The terminal's linked up again. It should only take a few seconds for a signal to propagate through the coral and lobotomize every Typhon on Talos 1, including the big one outside. The rest of us should get away with a mild headache. I'll let you do the honors, but you better hurry.
is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. Did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos I. Kayla. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah? You're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to. But it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we had to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. <laughs> 